Hi everybody. I'm Amy Tizara. So I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to have time to give too much background, but I do have to teach you some Filipino word. You guys ready for that? So the first, uh, the first word. This is all about women and female, the feminine spirit. So the first word is babae. So you say this after me. Babae. Babae. Babae means woman in Tagalog. Babaylan. Babaylan. Um, that's a feminine shaman. That could be male or female, but is a feminine spirit um, in indigenous traditions. Uh, dalaga. Dalaga. And that's a young woman. And diwata. Diwata. And that is a feminine spirit of nature. So you're going to have a chance to say those with me in a few moments. Um, and the other thing you're going to also sing, I know there's some singers out there, is this line. The women warriors are walking in our midst. So repeat that for me. The women warriors are walking in our midst. Just going to sound like this. The women warriors are walking in our midst. The women warriors are walking in our midst. Okay, so there's a part where you get to say that. It's a, this is a portion of the song piece thing that I'm about to do called The Women Warriors. So, okay. And then I need just like a rhythm that's basically, and you all can participate, like audience participation completely, is you guys are going to snap on the up part. So it'll be like... lived beside the water. Fishing, capturing crabs from the sea, the fine sand mingled with sweat on their skin. And when I returned to water, the parts of mine recognized their source. Because water is life. 
Because water is life, I honor the Gaga and all of its fishes. And when I look at the ocean, I'm dreaming my origins. Because the Philippines is an archipelago, and every land is an island, bigger or smaller, and no land is really dominant or superior or main. Because water is the elo that rushes. And even when we dam rivers, they rise up in a storm. Because water was our first home inside the womb. And water was the first sound we heard when we floated. And water was natural when we learned how to breathe. So as babies, we remember how to swim. Because water is a condensation of rain, and rain is a consequence of water. But we forget that we end where we begin. Because in that forgetting, we become like machines that try to extract another liquid, oil, which helps us fuel other machines to be bigger, faster, and stronger. But we can't drink oil, though we act like we can. And oil kills the water, so our dependence on oil is a killing of water. Because the Sioux and the water protectors are guarding the water in order to stop oil from being transported by machines and destroying the river and sacred places. Because the Dakota Access Pipeline is disturbing the dead and disturbing the living for seven generations. Because the police have become like machines, bearing militarized vehicles and pepper spray. And water protectors bear blankets and feathers and prayers because the police wear riot gear and say the protesters are rioting. Because grandmothers and children and horses stand as they have for centuries to guard the land. Because this very much reminds us of earlier treaties broken. Because this very much reminds us of how the United States was founded. Upon the burial grounds and sacred sites of native and indigenous people everywhere. Upon the dead with no respect for the living, threatening the living, with no respect for the dead. Because this is what the United States stands for. Harbingers of death, not protectors of life. Because water is life, and life is our birthright. Because this very much reminds me of the colonizing of my people. Because water was used by this government as water torture. Because water was used by this government as an image of civilizing the savage. Because water is the metaphor for washing the culture from our brains. Because water was the gift of our islands and then you took us. Because you saw the water not as life, but as passageway for machines and guns and ships and military bases. Because you did that too in Guam and Hawaii. Because you showed no remorse for those you killed when we fought for independence. Because you used water not for life, but for transporting bodies to provide labor for your machines to serve your dominance. Because water became a graveyard of bodies, a passage of moments. Because you have turned water into a tool of death. But water is life and you need it to live. Must we remind you again and again that water is life. And water is life. Because water is life. Yeah.